Hi, my name's Sarah and I'm straight off the plane from Pommyland and I've come to get a taste of the outback here in Marble Bar, Australia's hottest town. Okay, well, it's pretty hot here, so I reckon I might go and try and find a hat and while I'm at it, try and find out something about this little town in the outback. Okay, this is the first lady I've met on my trip around my bar, Marie. Marie, how long have you been in town? I've been, my family's been in, lived in this area for six generations. Um, my, my grandfather was a, a, a well-known prospector around town. He was also a show president of the East Pilbara Shire. Well, I believe that in the gold rush, there used to be up to eight to 10,000 people when there was a gold boom. Wow, how many are there now? 350. Oh, so it's not really going anymore. <laughs> not really anymore. Um, yes, it's going to be quite a bit. So it seems to be pretty hot here. Uh, Sergeant Corrigal, he's the new officer in charge here at Marble Bar Police Station. What are your first impressions of Marble Bar? It's a friendly place. Um, it's going to be hot, I can feel it already. It's definitely hotter up here already. But generally, yeah, friendly town. It looks like a good town to work in. I don't suppose there's anywhere in town that you know I can get a hat from because it seems to be pretty hot today. No idea at all where you buy hats tonight in Marble Bar. Okay. <laughs> works for the Shire of East Pilbara here in Marble Bar. Now, Colin, whereabouts did you come from before you came to Australia? Yeah. Yeah. I come from Scotland, group of islands, uh, Western Islands. If, there, if you could change something about Marble Bar, would you change something or would you just keep it the way it is? Yes. Uh, summertime I would like to turn a tap on and snow starts falling or uh, buckets of icy cold water and yep. so and so. Well, it, um, can you tell me how long you've been living in, in Marble Bar and what sort of things you've done since you've been here? Well, I've been in Marble Bar since 1987. But I've been in the general area since 1970. If I had the, if I had the choice, I wouldn't go anywhere. It's a very hot town, Marble Bar. Do you know where I can buy a hat? Not in this town. <laughs> okay, well, this is a uh, Marble Bar Jasper deposit, and it's where Mar Marble Bar got its name because when they first came here, they thought that it was marble, but it's not. It's Jasper, and there's no hats here, but it's a pretty nice spot to spend the afternoon. Um, my name's John and um, I manage Common Goldwine at Marble Bar. And what are your thoughts about Marble Bar when you first got here? Um, absolutely amazing. It's not what I expected. Um, there's lots of places to see around here with the gorgeous and everything like that. And um, the locals are really friendly, so it's been very good. Okay. Could you, would you change something about Marble Bar if you could something a bit of um, Better policing on the Jasper Bar itself. Um, I'm really sick of... Um, Tourists coming through and chipping bits off it. Yep. Um, and that really gets me. Um, we need to buy a hat because it's Marble Bar and it's a really hot place. Can you buy us our hats by the time? Definitely. Yeah, right. We'll get a hat in a minute. This is where the ore body was. Um, now what an ore body is, is this material has travelled from very far down underground and it's blown its way up to a weak spot in the earth's crust considered. And that material having travelled so far is very rich in minerals like gold, copper and silver. And it's what most of the mining companies in Australia work on today. Now in this case here the weak spot is two cliff faces. 
As you can see all the way around, it's a nice clean rock. And that's why I'm allowed to bring people in here. It's a very safe mine. You don't see any braces or supports or anything like that. It's not needed. It's a solid rock. Now we're in the engine room. Um, there's a lot of history in this room. This, this room here was the first building that was built. In this room here we have this um, engine here. And this is quite a famous, famous engine in Australia. It's a mighty rustler. Uh, the reason why the engine is famous is because it ran this alternator. And this alternator provided power to Marble Bar. And Marble Bar had AC power before Perth did. So it's one of the first alternators in WA. I actually found out about eight weeks ago that it, it is the first alternator in WA. Now, the reason for that stack there is it was sulphide ore. Um, in sulphide ore, there's, um, to process it, you basically have to roast it. And the reason for the stack is to get rid of the bad gases. Um, it was the highest stack in the southern hemisphere for the first 12 years of its life. And for the first four years, it didn't have any of those guide ropes. It's 75 metres high. Guys, cool, eh? Okay, well, I've got my hat and uh, I've learned a little bit about Marble Pass, so I'm going to um, head off up to Broome now.